Hi guys! So in this video I will show you how to create very simple first test and G test and run it using Firefox. So first of all let's create our first test. So in this package source test Java just right click new class and let's name it first test without spaces finish oh yeah the default package I forget to yeah let's let's do it again because I forget to add a package uh, so let's create class but let's put it into come dice if it's gonna create okay yeah so now it looks better so let's let's remove the first one okay so we have base for our first test uh, do we have test in G oh yeah we do so let's create first test at test no, not yet not yet uh, let's make it public void we don't need it to return anything first test method and now let's add test annotation now our test doesn't know yet what is this so we need to just hover over it and you see Eclipse suggesting me that it should be org test ng annotation and yet that's exactly what we need org test ng annotation so let's import it over hover over and click import or you can just basically manually type this line so now let's save it so no more errors and we can uh, start writing our test so first of all we need to create web uh, driver so web driver driver equals new firefox driver control space let's see firefox driver and you see when we use this control space and su suggestions from eclipse it automatically imported uh, our uh, firefox driver here but it didn't import web driver yet so hover over uh, No. Change Firefox driver. No, we don't need Firefox driver. Change. Oh, change to web. Oh, yeah. I misspelled it. Yeah. So web driver. Web uppercase driver uppercase. Yeah, that's my my mistake. And now, let's let's open dice. So let's comment what we're gonna do. Open dice.com driver get uh, http dice.com or probably like that dice.com uh, let's add some console message print line dice opened test pass yay and after oops sorry not that And after that, let's quit driver. Quit. So here's our first test. Now we need to create run config. 
So this button or uh, this button, so click on it, run configurations. Uh, since we were inside of our project, it already uh, filled the base directory, so job search, that's, oh no, that's wrong, that's, yeah, I had it before, so let's remove it, since we're gonna create new one from scratch. So, Maven build, double click on it, now base directory, go to your workspace and select your project. Or if it's not in the workspace, then wherever, whenever, wherever you have it. So base directory gonna be workspace automation in my case. And in order to run our test, here's the command: clean and test. Uh, I think that's it. So. Oh, name, yeah, name. Run job search. Or run automation since our project called automation. Let's let's call the configuration also run automation. Apply and close. And now you can right click on the file, run as run configurations and select our configuration or you can just click this button, well basically all this is the same, run as, uh, nothing yet, so we need to go to run configuration, select and run. And now we should see the Firefox browser open, but it did not, it failed and here's the our test error. So test run one, failures one. And the problem is illegal state exception, path to driver executable must be set by web driver Geeko driver. So the problem is uh, in order to run test in Firefox, uh, we used to use Firefox driver, but now it's Geeko driver. And the Firefox driver was already part of web driver and we, we didn't need to had uh, we, we didn't need to have the driver installed separately but now we have to use Kiko driver and this one we need to install separately so let me show you uh, where to get it uh, where's our browser so here's the link github slash mozilla slash Geeko driver slash releases and select the latest Geeko driver uh, yeah we this one should work download so I have Windows 64 so this is one I need to download uh, show in folder uh, Here's my download folder. Let's on archive. Just extract here. And we need to put it. Yeah. Like here we have this package for uh, for resources. So let's just drop it here in the resources. Copy files. Okay, copy. Is it there? Yeah, now we have in our resource folder the Geeko driver which we will use. But in our test now we have to show where it's located. So before starting our test let's type next. System set property. Properties or property? Property. Web driver dot geeko dot driver and value is our path so um, source slash main slash resources slash 
slash and the name of our driver. Basically, we could use, we could just copy it from here, but make sure you, you will change uh, the type of this slash. We need forward slash here. So, Giga driver and semicolon in the end. So now it should work. So we have our run automation here. Just click run automation. Now we should see dice.com opened. So where's our Firefox window? Did I make the mistake? Oh no, it's running. Yeah, so here is our Firefox window. It started, but it started on my second screen. And it says here, dice opened, test passed, uh, with a bunch of other stuff, which I don't really know what is that, but uh, unable to kill process. Oh, whatever. Our test is working. Browser opened, die, it opened dice, and browser closed. So that's it for this tutorial.